Welcome back to 3R Ballistics on this windy day at the range. We're here because we like to fabricate our own stuff. As a matter of fact, we call it Outcast Science. We have a new shirt. It says where we making and breaking is a way of life. And that's what we're doing here with our ballistics uh, torso. We went ahead and made our own ballistics torso, simulated some ribs, put a zombie heart in there. We got kind of a zombie head going on. And uh, so what are we gonna do to, to kind of tear this down? Well, we went ahead and created some, what we call medieval armor. Leftover parts that we found, these are trencher teeth from a, a trenching uh, machine. And this is roughly nine and a half by nine inches and weighs 10 pounds, eight ounces. Obviously a little bit heavy for a plate, but we wanna see if we're gonna get any fra fragmentation off of metal into the skull into the face here uh, we also just to sh check and see if these trencher teeth are any stronger than regular metal we went ahead and have a three-quarter inch piece of steel here as well this one is six by ten and a quarter comes in at 12 pounds and 14 ounces almost 15 pounds so we have that and we also have the blade from a lot of tractors and put these together they are not welded and we're gonna see if this which is oops upside down this is uh, 11 pounds 9 ounces this is roughly 8 by 10 so this is a lot closer to what a, a small uh, plate would be and it's roughly about a half inch thick so that's why we brought the three quarters inch thick steel is to see if this is any tougher than that so we're gonna go ahead and probably start with the thinnest trencher teeth and if we do get fragmentation we even have these little plates uh, these are surplus from sportsman's guide I believe uh, I believe they're supposed to be neck plates so we may even give those a try if we're getting a lot of fragmentation up all right let's get shooting Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, start out with this medieval plate. We're going straight to the 308. We got some serious steel, so let's see if we could get some fragmentation coming up or something. So we have a 147 grain full metal jacket. And you good? Good. Here we go. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. Clear. Okay, sorry for the wind again. Walking up, we hit right there. And you can see a little bit of powder. Nothing went through. We got did have one piece of fragment sneak out of this corner area, which is odd because we hit here and it came out here. right into his pack but the plate it's still intact so we're still gonna hit it that was okay you know full metal jacket was able to give a little fragmentation but we brought the 30 out 6 out and an m2 ap black tip round we want to go ahead and see if we could get through that metal first of all which it shouldn't have a problem and then see what kind of uh wound channel we can catch with the ballistics uh, torso. So here we go. Oh, oh baby, that was to the left, but let's go check it out. Clear. Okay, so walking up, 
we got some serious damage. Um, holy crap. So the M2 AP did not go through. You gotta be freaking kidding me. But it hit in a perfect spot to show what kind of shrapnel. Holy crap. Let me get the head, cause that's even, this thing's all dirty, but look at that. Oh man. Woo. It looked like, it looked like most of that went up into his head and out. There is actually a wound channel. That had to have been the steel core. Cause that came out his head right there. I don't know if you could see. No, you can't see the wound channel yet. Whew. We'll wash this off. But I'm determined to break this, so we're gonna we're gonna shoot something else at it. Okay, so we changed the orientation of the plate, but I wanna get through this. I did not believe those trencher teeth were that tough. So we're gonna hit it again with another black tip M2 AP and see if we could get through it or if it goes straight down. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Clear. more damage on this but this is turning out to be some pretty incredible armor we'll have to check on the slow-mo but this stopped M2 AP so this medieval armor is taking just about everything we could throw at it almost, almost. we got one more we got one more we want to give a shot to Okay, so we put the three quarter inch mild steel plate in front and we're gonna go straight to the M2 AP because I have no idea if that goes through it or not. But uh, we're gonna start there and see if we can get a heart shot. You good? Good. Here we go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Clear. Look at this. <laughs> Our M2 AP went in here, out three quarters of an inch, in here, and if we come look at the back, it came out the back. Holy smokes. Okay. That is really impressive. So we switched out to the half inch uh, bottom of a bucket from a tractor. I don't know what you want to call it. I'll insert a picture and at least show you what it is. Cause I am completely amazed that the M2AP went through three quarters of an inch of steel like nothing. So let's see if this is any stronger. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Clear. Look 
at that. Looks like we stopped it. No new holes. Holy smokes. That stuff is pretty tight. Let's move on to some stronger rounds and see if we can get through this. We brought out, basically it's a Savage 110 300 wood mag. And we got some of these custom API rounds. Let's see if this gets through that half inch tractor plate. Okay, so um, it's uh, really zombified now, lost half of its face, and I can't believe this. It did not go through. This stuff is, oh, we'll have to bring a 50 BMG, test this stuff. I can't believe it. I will say though, from looking at this, we hit here, it looks like we did get some, some shrapnel. Yep, we sure did. We got shrapnel to go up into his body. Little pieces of metal. Wow. That was a dump of energy. But our ballistics torso is still hanging in there. So I think it's time we just finish this guy off. Okay, I, before we destroy the torso, I actually want to see if that neck armor works from Sportsman Guides. I know it's uh, out of date ballistic uh, neck coverage thing, but after seeing the damage that we did to the face, we went ahead and put it up. I'm gonna try to hit it on the upward angle on one of those uh, medieval armor plates and see if it stops. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. You ready? Good. Clear. This was like this, and I was aiming for about right here. I cannot tell, I'll have to look at the slow-mo. It actually looks like I hit right there. But this is the shrapnel we got. You guys will see in the slow-mo right now, I don't know what ended up happening. But it didn't go through. Uh, it does look like we got some shrapnel out the side. Face is uh, possibly about the same as before, don't know. But uh, we may go ahead and put some full metal jackets in here. This definitely looked like it uh, kept stuff off his face though. May even hit this while we're hitting this. Okay, so now it's time to finish off this uh, torso. Let's see if some soft points out of the 300 wind mag can uh, do any damage to the head. <laughs> I would say that's some damage.
we decided to go ahead and put up the neck armor on Sportsman's Guide. They call it Kevlar. And I'm going to tell you right now, it is not Kevlar. It looks like it's ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. And we're going to shoot the same 300 wood mag soft point at it and see if it will stop it. Okay, this, this is a shock. Um, you can see a lot of energy transfer into here. Whew, nothing, no projectile went through. But holy crap, this neck armor somehow stopped it. So you can see it's right there. What the heck? Not sure you would survive because um, of the dump of energy. It tore this body. Let's look at it from the back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you could see it. It even pushed that part out. Holy smokes. Woo! This poor torso. Yeah, we need to get we need to give him some shots. I think we're gonna go ahead and torture test this with some handguns, and then and then finish it off with rounds. Okay, so we went ahead and decided to hit it five times. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five. We had one little flyer there. Definitely broke up the ribs. <laughs> what we used was PVC. Once again, if you want to see how we do this, I'll probably put this in the Patreon. And look at the back. You can see the wound channels on all these. Even this one that came out right there. But yeah, that's, this thing is holding up real nice. That's one of the AP rounds that went through the heart. <laughs> 